Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, I will try to read and write this scaleless entry module or KC module. It's a KC MQB. It comes from Audi 3 2014. This car is a water damage, and the owner sent this one to me to see if it's possible to clone this one. And for reading and writing this issue, we need a programmer. For this job, I will use VVDI Multiprog. And I said will be also interesting if we add the CG Pro, making the video more interesting and see also which type of diagram have each of these programmer, if the connection are the same and see also how is the performance between these two programmers. I will open the control module, I will start the software and we go from there. And just before to start to make soldering and make all this connection, we have a new updates and the updates if you pay attention will be exactly on the chip what we needed. Okay, the programmer is connected. I make also the soldering. This is our MCU type 9S12 and it's a secured one. And going through the software, I discover really something nice over here. We do have the diagram. I am glad I started first with VVDI Prog. Okay, this is our connection. But as I said, I'm glad I started with VVDI and I'll show you why you go here back and if you go here we go on Volkswagen and I discover we have the same MCU and this is really fucking nice I have the soldering according to this diagram. As I said, I trying to solder from here, make my own points over here. And when I search a little bit, as I said, really nice. This is nice. I use it many times the CG Pro because it's really good on this type of job. Till now it was better than VVDI, but let's see what VVDI can show us. Pay attention, you should remove this and this component also, okay? We go back now. Let's try to read our MCU. Pay attention over here. Okay, the chip power has been turned off. I don't know why. Let's pay attention one more to the diagram. black, yellow, red. Let's see which VCC I use it here. It's, it's correct one according to this schematic. It's exactly what they request to have it. It seems to have problem maybe, who the fuck knows. I will give a try. Okay, he identified the mask. This is our mask. D flash. Also try to read the EEPROM. Let's see what we have it. Because the D flash, it can be with no data, I mean like zero. It can be possible. Let's try to read the e EEPROM or P flash. Okay. And we do have readings here. Yeah, we have also pin number. And we do have readings. This is good. As I said, I had also with uh, CG Pro many times on D flash it, it's zero data inside. I will save this data and we go forward. Okay, now let's proceed to read the P flash. Okay. It goes quite quick. 
I am really surprised. I believe it's faster than CG Pro, but let's see. I don't want to speak something wrong. Also, if here is Tiguan, and it's the same unit, I try my luck. I try to see if it works or not, and I'm really glad. Okay, we have also readings over here. Again, save the data. I save the data. Let's see what we have here. It is zero. We don't have the data here. What I want to mention, this car goes to dealership and they make an update. Many times it's possible to change also the hardware number, not only the software number. And changing the hardware number, like for example, what we have here. Focus, I don't know if you are able to see, but anyway. Uh, it can change the last one from B to C or to P or to but M, something like that, okay? When it's a huge update, that update does modify only the software, you will modify also the hardware, I mind the functionality of this. And then you will have the same number maybe, and you will believe you will be able to read that chip. Many times happens that you cannot uh, are able to read the chip anymore. I had this case where the module have a new update and no chance. It was quite good job, I mind like, I'm really surprised, VVDI improved. I know I test this chip with VVDI PROC, but it was quite a long time ago and I didn't have so good results. I said I will try now with VVDI PROC, I didn't try this type of module till now. And uh, you saw it also, and I put also the picture again on the screen, just start my work with this uh, programmer. I have a new update exactly on this type of chip. This is pure luck because it was also possible to don't have good results, okay? This is the mask and this is what we will search on CG Probe. We'll change now the programmer, I make uh, fast the soldering. I'll keep the same soldering points because I don't want to make different soldering. Uh, also the CG Pro doesn't show me board like this one, it show me only the connection from the MCO. And I show it in many videos how you can search for your soldering points. One of the best position what you have it, don't try to solder directly on the on the chip because it's uh, really hard or you can use a microscope and will be different story but also if you have possibility to go like let's say over here far away from the chip it's much better good let's swap the programmers and we go from there CG Pro is connected you go over here on chip and then we search for our mask it's not 36 edge is this one it will show us different mask but you'll see when we connect it we'll take the right one and uh, you have the diagram your diagram is like that it doesn't show you too much i use the diagram as i said from vvdi prog let's try to read also with this one The readings go also really quick here. Okay, it's done. I will save the data. Let's try to see if we have also something on D-Flash, but as I said, uh, I had this before and it is true then zero data. But let's see what uh, he give us. Yeah, the partition is zero. Okay, then the VVDI multiprog it was showing us correctly. Okay, let's see the readings also. Here yeah, we have the V number over here. And we'll repeat again here. KC Hella MQB. It was a fast reading, fast connection. As I said, I'm glad I opened the software. 
from uh, VVDA. Let's also compare the data. And I open both of the dumps and, and here we have the dump from PFLASH. One is with uh, CG Pro and another one is with VVDA. And I noticed there's no difference. The data is similar. This is really good. And this is the way how we can clone this module. It's quite a simple job. It's not like years ago when we don't have this possibility. As I said years ago, I do it with CG Pro. It's a quite good programmer for Motorola. It really, it's amazing. And uh, I'm also glad to see the VVDI improve. As I said, I didn't have uh, good results in the past. It's not so much to show you. It was just quick information for those who need to clone this module. For those who have problem with water damage, it is not always necessary to use Odis or to go to somebody else and pay a lot of money to make uh, programming with Odis because you know on these new modules you need Odis. Or tell me on the comments below how it's your approach, what uh, you lose if you have this problem, this kind of problem to transfer the data. I'm just curious. I hope you learned something from this video. From this Audi A3. I have different modules with water damage. We will take one by one. I will show you how much is possible. I believe for the beginners will be interesting videos because they can approach the problem in different way. We will stop here. I will tell you thank you for watching and see us to next video. Bye bye. I said I will close the video and I said to you bye bye and see us to next video. But maybe this one will be much interesting to show you how small is this shit. What I believe is this. It's, it's a capacitor. Look how small it is. And this small shit I should solder back. Of course, if I don't have the microscope, I'm fucked. And this is how it looks on the microscope. Let's put the capacitor there. Here is his place. Just be careful. Use good tools. If you don't have a microscope, it will be really hard to do it. You can also do it, but you must have a good light. And just be careful and don't forget it. Put this capacitor back and solder this one also back if necessary. It's a must. I mean, you should solder this one back. If not, you have a big problem, okay? And now I will close the video and I tell you thank you for watching. Bye-bye.